This is the skull of a five-year-old child who underwent trepanning. From the front it appears perfectly normal, but on the top is what looks like a terrible injury. A large hole cut in the cranium about six centimeters across. But a closer examination revealed that the bone had been deliberately cut and that the child had survived after the operation. Earlier skulls had shown signs of deliberate removal of bone from fractures, but no one had seen anything like this child's skull. Dr. Paola Catalano from Rome's archaeological service discovered this skull dated from the time of Galen. Questo bambino è un bambino di circa 5-6 anni di età, età scheletrica stabilita dal grado di eruzione dei denti ed è stato trovato in una necropoli di secondo secolo d.C. scavata alcuni anni fa a Fidene nella zona del suburbio a nord di Roma. The procedure on the skull closely resembled one recommended by Galen himself for some brain diseases. Perhaps this was the work of the master himself? Questa caratteristica di lesione cranica rilevata subito al momento dello scavo ed è stata esaminata poi successivamente con delle tecniche abbastanza avanzate e ha dimostrato oltretutto, cosa estremamente interessante, questo studio che la tecnica seguiva in maniera precisa i dettami di Galeno. Galen explained how he had observed brain damage occurring in patients who had complaints such as inflammation of the brain and recorded how this might be avoided by releasing the pressure using trepanation. This is what appears to have happened in the case of the young child. Professor Renato Costantini has studied the skull and believes the child suffered from water on the brain. Costantini was the chief pathologist whose x-rays provided an invaluable insight into this very ancient Roman surgical technique. The trepanning technique on the child's skull was created using a series of small holes which were then joined up. A section of the skull was then removed. This technique was used because of the frailty of the child's skull. In this case, the trepanation was performed because of an, expans of an expansive disease of the right cerebral hemisphere. So the surgeon at one point operated on this skull in order to relieve the pressure that developed inside the skull and the child survived for a short period of time. This was not simply an attempt to remove damaged bone, but closer to being a form of ancient brain surgery. What is remarkable about this ancient cranial surgery is that it was performed to treat a disease of the brain and not to remove a cracked or damaged area of the bone itself. And this is what is amazing about this find. Who, at the time this child lived, would have had the knowledge and skill to perform this complex operation other than Galen himself? Mm -hmm.